we as a church, like Luke 14 says, need to be proactive. A person with a disability could be shut in, and so we need to be proactive. People with special needs are, are very isolated. They feel like they're broken, but, and they're hurting on the inside. There are people around the world who have needs that seem impossible to meet. But we're doing whatever we can to help. As is the case with our partnership with a church in Florida. Together, we've created a safe haven for people with special needs and their families. The Hand of Hope Center. Alicia says the center offers training for volunteers to meet the needs of people living with disabilities. The building will help expand Christ Fellowship services beyond previous limitations. When we first started here, it was Lori was going through a time of. Um, oh, she just wanted to talk about this. No, 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 she no. has grown <laughs> yeah. so much. And then there's the fellowship, like when she did have the time out when she had surgery and knowing that prayers were being said for her. And I mean, it's just that fellowship and family and support that just really just means so much. And we really, I don't even know how to say thank you because it's just really been such thank a you. blessing. I know last week we took a, a brief tour through the uh, Hand of Hope Center with Alicia just to get an idea of what it looked like inside. When you're out in the community, you feel like you're being judged and looked at. You know, if you've got a child that maybe has a strange behavior, you know, you can come to special needs and you feel relaxed because everybody understands. Here we go, here we go, guys. Ready? For Alicia, today's ceremony was a culmination of watching God provide for the special needs ministry. She knows firsthand how valuable it is to have a place where you're accepted. God said, hey, I made it you. You are not oops. And I make everything perfect. You are a tool for me. So I'll be using you. What the Hand of Hope Center is going to enable us to do is to serve the community, to serve our community with disabilities so that they will have an oasis, find fellowship, and learn about the love of Jesus through helping hands.